So in the first part of this tutorial I was showing you how to construct this bracket. Now let's see how to simulate that quickly with uh, CodeAster and Salmon Maker. So now I have this geometry but I still need to create some uh, groups uh, so I can use those groups to simulate this. So I will need, um, let me check, so first I need to select the main shape, right? And I need to select this, uh, this will be symmetry, symmetry group, apply. Then I need to select this, um, the surface of these two holes. So, and this will be, let's say, I will call that fixed because I will, or pinned maybe, pinned because this will be pinned and the load surface will be this so let's add it as load surface load surf okay and well, let's just create a group about the full full model so let's call it ball I'm not sure I will need it but anyway better to create it in advance okay got that now I'm moving with I'm moving to the mesh mesh module uh, let's hide let's hide a bit all the construction stuff well, I cannot hide too much because I need this um, okay let's create a new mesh and let's use this netgen 1d 2d 3d so that's the algorithm used when your model is slightly uh, more complex than simple box or something um, let's use moderate geometry fine maybe I don't know let's use moderate first and see what what goes out let's create the mesh so I have to go down okay select this one and compute Okay, so the mesh is a bit coarse, so let's make it slightly better. So I will edit this, and um, for the max size, let's switch to, I don't know, 10. Apply and close, and let's compute that again. Okay, that's much better. Okay, now I have that. I need to create the mesh groups which will be used to uh, apply the loads and all. So as I have the groups from geometry, I just able to create by selecting that. This will be automatically created uh, here. So I have three faces group and one volume. Great. Now, don't forget to save your model. Um, and now I can go to the simulation step with Codaster. So wait that um, Codaster loads. Choose the stable one. And the first step is to create a stage. And then we will have to read a mesh. And just click on click on the small menu and you will see mesh one which is the name of the mesh I created in this mesh module so it automatically appears here you do not have to export the mesh and load it back again okay have this mesh um, now I need to assign a finite element model to that so let's do it everywhere and then mechanical and I will choose our 3D model. So that's the simplest type of model because you have actually nothing else to define. No thickness of plate, no special element, nothing, just 3D uh, 3D tetra. So that's it. Okay, I have my model, now I need a material. So define material. 
uh, creates a linear isotropic elastic model. So now you need uh, the Young's models and the Poisson's ratio. So here I created my model in a millimeter unit. So make sure that your uh, Young's models is is uh, in a coherent unit. So in this case, 200. I will use 200,000. Uh, so I am in Newton by millimeter square unit and 0 0.3 for the Poisson's ratio. We don't need the density here because I have no uh, gravity. But material, once you created that, don't forget to assign it to your mole. Okay, next step is to assign some boundary condition and loads. So you have to choose the right one. So I, I'm using the Windows version right now, so the menus are a bit, I, I cannot see really what's written. Uh, so I, ha I have to choose the one called, uh, no, not this one. Ah, this one, assign mechanical load, Afe car maker. Um, and let's use Enforce DOF to, uh, to, to pin the two holes here. So that's what I'll do first. So I'll choose, and here uh, I need to use the group of elements I created. So I will pin the holes, so I'll choose the pins group, and you see that the holes appear like this. And I will just select those through three degrees of freedom. Note that uh, solid elements only have three degrees of freedom. That's why I'm only selecting that. Don't activate those ones because those are for plates and all kind of elements. Uh, solid only have those three. Okay. Uh, and now I need to assign some symmetry condition to this. So I don't know if Salome has some kind of, of symmetry. I don't I don't think so. So I will use Enforce DOF and fix the right uh, degrees of freedom for uh, the symmetry face. So let's choose symmetry plane this time. And let's think about it. So what I want to fix basically is the the y um, the y direction right so basically dy should be zero um, and well you could think about also the the translate the um, rotation should be fixed uh, like gear x and gear z but as this is 3d solid I don't need to fix that so I just fix one degree of freedom um, okay, now I'm ready to apply the load, and for that I will use, uh, so I have force something, force face, let's try to use this, let's choose my load surface, let's apply in minus x direction, a load of 40,000 newton. Okay, now I have my load. Let's say that I have my load. I have um, almost everything I need. Um, now let's set up the analysis. So again, it's a bit small, but you have to choose the one in statics, the one called static mechanical analysis. That's the one. And Activate your material, choose your load, and that's it. That's all you need to define for this. And now, as I want to export the stresses as well, so I will need to add a calc champ. And don't forget to change the name to Patrick. It should be the same than uh, the previous one, this one. So I think there is this option now called reuse the input object that you can check 
and it will reuse this but I'm not totally sure it works 100% so I'll just use the same name wrestling and this one and it will work and so if I want font measures I have to activate criteria and choose uh, I think let's, let's add those three so this will be at element goes points so those are result at element goes points this is at element nodes and this is at nodes so if you define only this one you'll get a problem because it requires the result from those two to be computed so you need to define the three together or maybe just this one or just those two well that's not a nodes okay on that now only thing I need to do is to set up the results so let's set up a result file let's call it um, pilo.ermed so ermed is kind of the extension uh, in med format and uh, that I should use if I want to view the result in Paravis and don't forget to check this and to add the results otherwise you'll have no results and you'll think oh this is strange my analysis works but I see nothing so uh, if you have this activate that no need really to select anything in that just just add it the check here and it's done okay and now I'm um, I should be set up so let's try to run this in Elvis. Let's go switch to the East History tab, click on the current case, um, click on the stage one here, and here you have a small button called Run. Click on that. And you have, and now it's computing. So you should see the process of computation in this window. I hope I will get the green. Oh, wonderful. I'm getting green from the first try. That's awesome. Well, generally it doesn't work so easily. You'll have a lot of red before going to green. So if you uh, if you get something red, just go into this file and try to understand what's wrong. Uh, sometimes not always obvious to understand how what's written here, but I think uh, sometimes it's also written clearly. Or you can search on the on the forum on internet or. I'll just post a comment in the video and let me know okay anyway now it's computed so we are ready to look at those results so for that I'm going back into case view and then there is another tab here called data file and you see that those are the files linked to this model um, so I, I can directly right click on this and you have open in Paravis so and if I click on that it will automatically switch to the Paravis module now I'm seeing my model in Paravis and I'm getting the displacement which looks uh, okay so displacement looks uh, it's in millimeter unit and I have my phone is a stress at the nodes which is also okay so the unit you get here is always dependent on uh, the input and the size of your model uh, the, the, um, the unit of your material your Young's models and all the stuff so make sure you are consistent with all this now if you want to see the deformed shape which is something that we generally want to to check out um, it's kind of tricky you have to go here and generate the vector and once you do that you have to apply a filter so go in filter and common and you have something called warp by vector apply um, and now Maybe this is too small, I have increased a bit the scale. Okay, now you see they start to uh, deform 
that you want to sit much more something like that yeah this is very very deformed shape too much right 0 0.5 okay now that's a little too much but anyway you understood how, how to do it um, and I think that's it for for this video so thank you very much for watching I uh, have many other videos on uh, Codaster, Sound Maker and all kind of stuff so don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like what I do and uh, leave a comment let me know what you want to see next I thank you very much for watching so if you're on YouTube you'll probably find the link to the article and the next videos inside the description otherwise you can go on my blog fe4all.com uh, and click in the category open source FEA and you'll find all the articles I wrote about uh, open source FEA and the previous videos inside this category. So thank you for watching. I hope that you learned a lot and that you will learn a lot using all the videos that I am sharing on my blog. So if you like those videos, please help me to share them with your friends and other engineers. And also please let me know what you think in the comments. It's always great to have some kind of feedback and if you have some ideas of things you would like to learn or do with FEA, please also let me know. Thank you for watching again.